state of the art conversational AI model. AI tool like that I've seen be able to plus this when I was in high school. This is crazy, right? It's going to change the world. So you may have heard of this new AI chatbot thing that's blowing up everywhere, ChatGPT. And since its release late last year, it's already surprised a lot of people as you saw. So what exactly is it and what exactly can it do for you? ChatGPT is like a robot friend that you can have a conversation with, but that's just oversimplifying some things. It can also help you write novels, code entire softwares, explain concepts, and even convert movies into emojis. But all of this, according to its CEO, is just an early demo of what is possible. And so back to the title of this video, you probably clicked because there's something about the study process that bothers you. For me, and you can probably relate to this, was that sometimes I would study for extremely long hours without getting that much things done. And there can be a lot of reasons for this, procrastination, study habits, etc. But one thing that I found extremely helpful in combating this was just using better tools. And having used ChatGPT for a bit of a while now, even with its limitations, there's just so many areas that can help save time. Now, are your grades gonna experience a complete 180 turn because of this? Probably not, because this isn't really a cheat code for better grades with no work. However, with that being said, you may just be surprised at some of the things it is capable of. So now let's open up ChatGPT. And if you want to follow along, just make an account by following this link, which you can find below. And once you do, you open it up and it will take you to this page. First up, I wanted to talk about one of the most popular requests, which is, can you get ChatGPT to write an essay for you? And short answer is you definitely can. For example, I can type in, write an essay on the role of ambition in Shakespeare's play Macbeth. And I'll just fast forward this a bit, but eventually it turns out a full essay. Now, I know what you're thinking. If you just submit this essay for um, marking or an assignment, it's most likely that you'll get a C grade at maximum. So the main reason here is because the detail is quite shallow, as you can probably see, and it doesn't offer any original or insightful ideas. But that doesn't mean it's useless, because first off, this is a good place to get some inspiration for certain ideas or for the overall structure, but also we can actually improve on this result by making our prompt a bit more specific. For example, I'm going to retype this and add in some more detail. So I'm going to say, write an essay on the role of ambition in Shakespeare's play, like before, but now I'm going to add in all of this. So Make the essay for a well-informed audience, like an English examiner. Use three clear examples, make it concise, easy to read, sophisticated tone, five paragraphs, etc, etc. And I'm going to put this through and let's see what we get. So this is definitely more detailed than what we got before. But again, not something that by itself can get you an A+. So it does lay a solid foundation, but ultimately you have to add in your own original ideas to make this the best essay possible. So now I'll put both essays side by side so you can kind of see the difference. And one thing I'll note is that the AI incorporates most of the prompts that you give it, but sometimes it's not perfect and it misses a prompt here and there. But the good thing is you can keep running this and keep giving it prompts until you get something that you like and can build off of. Now, moving on, more useful in my opinion is to ask ChatGPT to mark an essay or to give improvements to an essay that you've already done. So for example, I'm gonna type in list a few improvements for this paragraph. And then I'm gonna paste in an essay paragraph that I wrote for my year 12 exams. And just for your information, this ended up scoring full marks. So I'm curious to see how the AI improves on this. Okay, so as this trans itself out, it looks like we're gonna be here for a while. But in the meantime, I just wanted to say that not all the suggestions that you see here are going to be optimal. And they're not always going to be better than what you had originally. So before recording this part of the video, actually, I asked it for many improvements and it gives you a slightly different response each time, which is good in the sense that if two people paste in the same thing, they'll get two different responses, so it's original, but bad because there's always the drawback of it not being of high quality, which for some of these points you can kind of see. Okay, so now this is pretty much done. I have to say this is pretty good in offering an alternative perspective on certain topics, and it definitely made me think of suggestions that I wouldn't have thought about. And I'll just add this part in because I want to show you a realistic view on what it's like using ChatGPT because a very funny but unreliable thing you can do is ask it to mark your essays. And this is what happened. Stupid. So apart from writing essays, ChatGPT can also help you learn. For example, let's say you have this fat textbook reading that you need to do, 
All you can do here is type in summarize and then paste in that content from your textbook. Not only can this condense down the content and make it easier to understand, but it can also offer you another way of explaining things. And that way, in case the textbook way of explaining things is too complicated, then you always have this second option. Now, what makes this interesting is you can also say summarize this, but in a stand-up comedy style. So if you type that in, you get something like this. And it basically turns that entire chunk of content into a skit, which is pretty cool. Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you can see here the uh, sense of humor of ChatGPT is quite interesting. Now, another helpful thing is, let's say you don't understand a particular concept or an idea. What you can do is you can ask ChatGPT to explain it to you. Or what I found helpful was to say, explain it to me as if I was a child. For example, I'm just going to pick out one of the terms that we learn in chemistry, so fractional distillation. And I'm just going to say, explain this term or this concept as if I was a child. And you can see that this explanation is very tailored towards an audience that is learning about this for the first time, but also it uses very interesting language and analogies that make understanding this concept a lot easier. And it definitely helps me, in this case, understand what fractional distillation is on a very holistic level. And just one final point about this, if there's still something that you don't understand, keep asking follow-up questions, because ChatGPT remembers the previous comments that you've made, just like a normal human conversation, so you can continue asking those questions until you fully understand something. And just one more thing, this AI is still in development, so that means that some of the facts that it mentions may be incorrect, which is why it's always good to fact check it with, let's say, Google or another source. Okay, so another crucial part of studying is doing practice questions, which again, ChatGPT can help us with. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna input the learning outcomes that we have, and learning outcomes are basically like the key knowledges or the things that are going to be on the final exam. And usually our teacher or our professor gives us a list of these at the start of the term. So I'm gonna ask it to generate practice exam questions based on the following points. And then I'm gonna paste in those learning outcomes. So as you can see, we've got a list of 10 short answer questions, which are great for testing our understanding. But another thing we can do is turn these into multiple choice questions, because that's something that might come up on an exam. And then if you want the answers. And then if you want an explanation for the answers. So obviously, are these questions going to be of the highest quality? Probably not, but it does offer you a good start and it's a good way just to get some basic practice in, especially in the early stages of your revision. Overall, my personal take is that ChatGPT is far more useful as a tool for revision, for let's say generating questions, marking essays, etc., because it's just so efficient and you can save so many hours during our study process. And if you're watching up to this point of the video, thank you. And so finally, I wanted to group all the cool and random prompts that I've played around with with ChatGPT. Enjoy. So as you can see, there is a lot of things that ChatGPT can do. But as they say in sports, you need to be better than your equipment, or at least in this case, not entirely dependent on it because I'm not here to jump on a hype train and tell you that this is amazing and you can do everything, since here are just some of the brutal truths and limitations about ChatGPT. And keep in mind that this is the demo version, so can't really complain. And of course, this AI, like any other tool, is not a substitute for hard work. It can do a lot of things, but it can't actually make you learn, which is the entire point. And after all, all tools only amplify who you are. If you're already putting in the hours each day, then this tool will only help you do so more effectively. So I know I covered a lot about ChatGPT, but this video is meant to be about AI as a whole, because there's going to be faster, more accurate programs developed in the future, and it might have nothing to do with ChatGPT. And so just view this little tool as the tip of the iceberg, because the overall idea of this video is to be on the lookout for these new tools, and to be aware of how technology is changing how we learn. However, even though ChatGPT might seem like a small fun tool to play around with, it's already had great influence. For example, and I actually just received an email about this, but one of my university professors at the University of Pennsylvania who teaches entrepreneurship has changed all his classes to AI classes. And what this means is that in some cases, he requires you to use ChatGPT and other AI for his uni assignments. And so you can see that AI is only becoming more and more integrated with our learning. And so to spin off one of Darwin's famous quotes, I'll sign off by saying that those that end up doing well in studying or really any aspect of life 
aren't those that are the strongest or the most intelligent, but rather those that are the most adaptable.